the viewers welcome you to edu8 in our uh, today's class session we are going to discuss tenses tenses as you know is the feature of the verb which tells at what time the action or the activity has taken place there are three types of tenses as you know the present past and the future tenses in one of our earlier videos we discussed present tense present tense er bikhoy ami agor video eta discuss korisilu tomaloke he to refer korbo pariba for your references in today's session let's discuss uh, past tense in today's session let's discuss past tense and its classifications simple past past continuous or past progressive past perfect and past perfect continuous past tense boli kole e e sarita ami past tense or divisions pao simple past past continuous or progressive past perfect past perfect continuous or past perfect progressive let's discuss simple past today simple past uses simple past ami ketia byabohar koru to denote and to denote an action to denote an action or activity that ended that has ended in the definite past time jitu kam otitot agote shek hoise for example some historical facts you can take it some historical facts lasit borfukon defeated the moguls historical facts kisuman actions ami je bilak yesterday ebilak hobo clue tomal kor karone yesterday last month ago this time related clues tense is nothing but the concept of time yesterday last month ago historical facts ebilak actions complete korte ami simple past tense byabohar korim another uses of simple past tense is to denote to denote a past habit to denote a past habit কারবার অতীতর কিনা অভ্যাস বুঝাব কারণে তুমি এই টু টেন্স ব্যবহার করবো পারিবা টু ডিনোট আ পাস্ট হ্যাবিট দ্য স্ট্রাকচার অফ দিস টেন্স ইজ দ্য স্ট্রাকচার অফ দিস টেন্স ইজ ইয়াক আমি কেনে কি দরে লিখিম দ্য স্ট্রাকচার অফ দিস টেন্স ইজ সাবজেক্ট প্লাস দ্য মেইন ভার্ব দ্য মেইন অ্যাকশন ওয়ার্ড উইল বি ইন ইটস সেকেন্ড ফর্ম যাক আমি ভি টু বলি কম ফর एग्जांपल আই স দ্য ম্যাচ I saw the match yesterday. I saw the match yesterday. Yesterday is the word related to time related clues being given. Joakali moi khel khon dekhi silu. Yate I see second form. I saw the match yesterday. So come to Joakali com complete hoise. It's an action that ended in the definite past time that is yesterday. That's why the verb has taken its second form. Ikan e verb yare second form to loise. I saw the match yesterday. So simple past tense primarily to me ekita to sentence or behavior korbo kane use korbo pariba. Action ended in the definite past time like historical facts. yesterday last month ago etc this will be your clues again to denote a past habit of an individual teo agote ikhon paper porisil he read this particular newspaper he uh, walked two hours a day during his childhood so those kind of habit if you refer to you should be using this structure subject plus v2 let's concentrate on past progressive or past continuous tense past progressive or past continuous tense uses the past continuous or past progressive tense or uses to ki hobo to denote an action to denote an action or activity that had already started but not ended 
in the past. Jitu kam oti tot okonman homor kane continued hoisil. Jitu kam oti tot okonman homor kane continue hoisil. Enu ko thunor back ko buzabo karne past continuous or past progressive tense or bebhor kori bade. Structure of this tense is the structure of the tense is subject plus auxiliary verb this time will be was or where plus the main verb will take its ing form the main verb will take its ing form subject was ba where the main verb will take its ing form for example when i came when i came he slip when I came, he slept. Jitia moy ahi silu. Ei kam tu agote aram bo hisil. Kintu jitia moy ahi silu. When I came, ei bilak clue hobo. When as while. Primarily when as while. Then follow up the action that continued. When I came, he slept. The answer should be when I came, he was sleeping. When I came, he was sleeping. Ei kam tu continuum hoy asil. To refer to that, we should be using past continuous or past progressive tense. Let's continue our discussion on the uses of past tense divisions let's uh, come to the third divisions which is the present perfect tense present perfect tense present perfect tense is used present perfect tense is used to denote an action to denote an action or activity that had ended Before another action, before another action in the past. Just mon kori bolle gya kotha yate itu e duta kam hobo lagi bo, duta kam hobo lagi bo. Tare juntu kam agote khe koi se. Out of the two actions, which action has occurred earlier? Please be very careful of the two sentences given. There will be two actions given out of which which action has occurred initially, which action has occurred first. For the moment, this action is here. Two actions are here. Past perfect tense or verb to call him. Structure to our silo. So, what is the structure of what is the structure of past perfect tense? Subject plus head. The auxiliary verb used for past perfect tense is had, irrespective of the numbers used in the subject, and then the main verb will take its third, the participle form. This is the structure of past perfect tense. Now, what we are discussing is that to denote an action that had ended prior to another action in the past. Pay attention to this question. For example, we reached the station after the train had left. We reached the station after the train had left. Pay attention to the sentence. There are how many actions happened? There are two actions have occurred. One that you reached the station, the other the train left. So, duta kam hoise yate. Yare duta kam or kuntu kam agot hoise. To me agot station to goi paisa. Ne train khon agot eri se. So we reached the station after the train had left. A e part two amar aise past perfect tense. Kadi to action agot e hoise. So which action has occurred first to denote an action that had ended prior to before another action in the past? Very common type of questions. So we reached the station after the train had left. A e sentence to. Ami station goisu, train khon goise, duta kamor, agote hoa kam to hold, train khon agote goise, e karne ami a to logot past perfect tense bevor korisu, head plus far has taken its third form, far has taken its third form, v3 form boli amongst the kong, past perfect tense or bevor a to. Now let's focus on to past perfect continuous tense. Past perfect continuous tense uses. Ketia use kurim past perfect continuous tense. To denote an action, to denote an action or activity that continued for a period before 
another action in the past. Otitot atakam alob deri karne continue hoisil tar action at our agot. Otitot kibata kam continued hoisil for a period of time, kibata action ke huar agote. For example, structure to Luiloba. What is the structure of the present? Uh, sorry, what is the structure of perfect past perfect continuous tense? The structure of the past perfect continuous tense is subject plus head plus been continuous carne plus the main verb will take its ing form. Subject plus head plus been and then the main verb will take its ing form. Pay attention to this sentence here. When we reached, when we reached, they within bracket play for two hours. Just see the difference between past continuous and past perfect continuous tense. Imagine the sentence written like that when we reach, they play. So it should be they were playing continuous tense. But yate question to kick or say when we reached, they play for two hours. At a homoy amag thori this action continued for a period of time. Do you want to to come solicil? So to describe such a kind of sentence, to describe such a kind of sentence, uh, we have to use we have to use past perfect continuous tense. Our answer to hobo had been playing the answer will be had been playing a come to continue whistle for two hours so this is the basic uses of past perfect continuous tense denote an action continued for a period of time in the past uh, prior to another action hami jitia gui pai silu when we reach see the difference between past perfect and past perfect continuous past perfect duta action hobo tare eta action agote Please be very careful to the action that has ended earlier. He to a sentence of the Tomoloke past perfect tense we have heard Koriba or for past perfect continuous tense come to all of Homoi Soli Hakibo Legibo in the uh, in the past time prior to another action that ended in the past time as well. So this is uh, in a nutshell we discussed the past tense. Now after going through the concepts of past tense in detail, now let's uh, solve some exercise. Uh, six questions uh, on your screen as we did in the session where we discussed present tense we solved some questions to find out to pick what are the words what are the clue words that give you the indication about time kun bilak shabdo e tumak samoyor bikhe koise hei khini buja to amar kane nitantar proyojonio that i receive your mail yesterday I received your mail yesterday. Uh, in this very question, the clue given, the time related clue, tense, ako koisu, nothing but the concept of time. That is the feature of the verb which indicate at what time the action takes place. Kun kini homoyot e to kam hoise. E kam to hoise ketia, e kam to hoise yesterday. Tam into joakali reaction. Action ended in the definite time in the past. So that comes in the category called simple past tense. So simple past tense or structure, if you can recall, verb must be written in its second form. So the answer to this question will be I received. I received v2 form i received your mail yesterday yat ketiyo ami had received logabo noaru karon etu kam joa kali he hoi joa action definite period of the past time come to question number 2 i saw you while you play i saw you while you play while you play jetia tumi kheli asila ei kam to continue hoisil ei kam to continued solisil ketiyaba pra kheli sa ami gompo nai but i saw you when that action of playing was continued. So we should be using past progressive or past continuous tense. You uh, being our subject here, it should be you were playing. I saw when you were playing. I saw when you were playing. That is a good example of past progressive or past continuous tense. Come to question number three. Come to question number three. He suddenly realized that he leave his parts in the house. Very careful while solving this type of questions. How many actions have taken place here? Two actions have taken place. 
two actions have taken place one is his realization his realization he suddenly realized aru eta action ki hoise teor parts to teon ghorot thoi aise out of these two actions duta ekeloge hoise ne i don't think so both the actions have occurred at the same point of time both the actions have taken place uh, one first then the other which action occurred first suddenly realized or left his parts he left his parts at home so that is the first condition so agote hoa prior to that action we should be using past perfect tense the answer to this question will be the answer to this question will be had leave or v3 from will be left past perfect tense an ideal example of past perfect tense two sentence two actions occurred suddenly realized leaving his parts had left should be the answer here Let's come to question number four. Let's come to question number four. Yesterday morning, yesterday morning, I search my book for two hours. जो आकली राती पुआ मौ बुक तो दो घंटा थोड़ी बिसारी ऐसे लो. Right now I'm not searching. In our earlier session on present tense, we got present perfect continuous tense. See the difference between present perfect continuous tense and past. perfect continuous tense that action has got no relevance to the present time that action ended in yesterday morning jo akali rati poy kam to he hoy gol tar etiar bartaman samoyer logo tar kono dhoronor relation nai so yesterday morning i searched my book for 2 hours the answer to this question will be had been searching had been searching But imagine the question setter is today. I'm going to tell you that I searched my book since yesterday morning. I searched my book since yesterday morning. Did you have any meaning to? I mean, how many meaning to? I'm going to tell you that. So, I'm going to tell you that. So, that means that has to be written in present perfect continuous tense. But that very idea question setter is today. I'm going to tell you that. I searched my book since yesterday morning. I searched my book since yesterday morning. Did you have any meaning to? I mean, how many meaning to? Ideal clue being given here. Yesterday morning. That has no relation to the present day morning. Had been searching will be the answer to question number four. Come down to question number five again. Like our previous session, we got uh, some uh, questions on interrogative sentence. You might be getting on the day of your exam questions on interrogative sentences. You sleep well last night. Again, time related clue is last night, but sentence is in interrogative structure. That means we cannot begin the sentence using you. We cannot begin the sentence using you. It has to begin with an auxiliary verb because there is no W H word to begin with. You sleep well last night. Ketiar kotha pati so ami jawar atir kotha pati so. So you sleep well last night. So it has to be written as did you sleep. Be very careful after did. The main verb will be written in its present form. That's a very common mistake among some being seen. After did, many tend to write did you slept. It cannot be after did. The main verb will be written in its P1 form. Did you sleep well last night? The question mark will be retained. The question mark will be retained. That's the solution to question number five. Come down to question number six. How often? You go to the library when you were in London. How often you go to the library when you were in London? The clues about time is when you were in London. That means jetiya to me London or asila. Etiya bottoman sage to me London or nai. The speaker is trying to say to me. किमान बार लाइब्रेरी लो गई सिला हाउ ऑफेन पास्ट हैबिट हाउ ऑफेन यू गो टू द लाइब्रेरी व्हेन यू वेयर इन लंदन सो दिस क्वेश्चन कैरीज वन इंटरोगेटिव प्रोनाउन डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड हाउ सो वी हैव टू रिटेन दिस बीइंग एन इंटरोगेटिव सेंटेंस अगेन द हाउ द क्वेश्चन स्ट्रक्चर विल रिमेन वी ओन बी चेंजिंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सेंटेंस बट द आंसर विल बी हाउ ऑफेन हाउ ऑफेन डिड यू आफ्टर डिड अगेन Verb will take its first form. How often did you go to the library when you were in London? The question mark will be retained. So, hope you have understood some questions and the concepts being discussed related to uh, simple uh, past, past continuous, past perfect, and past perfect continuous tense. Uh, summing up with this uh, past tense discussion. Thank you. <music>